That's a blacklist, that's... <laughs> Welcome back to Nuha Sal and the baby. Yeah, <laughs> our newest addition, yes. as um, you've all noticed. And thank you for all the beautiful comments saying our baby's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. We think so too, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but we might be a bit. You want you want to say hello? You want to pause a second and say hello? Hello. Say hello, everyone who has subscribed to our YouTube channel. Hello. All the new, all the new subscribers. I say welcome. thank you. Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> no. He just wants the milk. He just wants his milk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so today, guys, we're doing um, a video that was suggested to us by one of our Lille. Lille 100. Lille 100. Yes. And also, if you are watching this man, thank you so much. He's one of our biggest supporters here on on on, uh, on YouTube. And for sure, for sure, when we come to South Africa, we will go and see yeah. is it him or her. I think it's her. I think I think she's a girl. I'm, yeah. I'm giving it a crack, and I'm saying to her, yeah. correct us. I know yep. you watch our video videos, Lily. Uh, and it, uh, sorry, I probably said that wrong. <laughs> I know she's gonna see this. He's gonna comment on it. And Lily, thank you so much, man. Thank you for suggesting this video. Yeah, so guys, like if you do comment, we will do shout outs, especially we do notice when there's lots of the same people commenting. Yeah. Um, and we really appreciate the support and we love that if you ask for us to watch stuff because sometimes we don't know what to watch yep. and or we don't know about it. Like yeah. the other day when we started watching uh what's his name? Um the guy from Mansa Main's video. Uh, yeah, what's his name? Um, chill. No uh, chill. No chill, yeah, no chill. So, yeah, it's good that he suggested this video because we, we have no idea. But when this is a new one that just came out, like January 2022. Yeah, yeah. so midway. So, mm. lucky she told us. So, we did a um, this one ages ago, but an older version. Mm. You can see he's ready. He wants huh? to sleep soon. Yeah. Dodge at his back. Apparently, that's a sign. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. I got to hey, get on with it. Yeah. I want to go to sleep. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you see him rubbing his eyes also. That's a sign that he wants to sleep. Yeah, he wants to sleep. Yeah, 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 yeah the yeah. little little yeah. one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so guys, this should be good. Um, and yeah. tell us if you like it, and tell us other comedians or other shows we should be watching. And mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So it's at uh, live at uh, Apollo, Apollo. So yeah, also we did this. Uh, we did uh, uh, um Lois Ogola one. You guys will go and check it out. It was around twenty twenty. 20, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know which yeah. year it was, but we'll um put. I'll put up a link, so you yeah. there should be a card popping up now. Yeah. Um, or it, it around this point. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so click on that and check it out if you um you do like him. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. let's go. No! <laughs> he dressed the same. No! He dressed the same. You see your uncle? Look at your uncle. Yeah. Welcome to the Apollo! <laughs> yeah. I'm a Londoner now, I just moved here, man. It's nice. I'm from South Africa, I'm a Londoner. And we're like, oh, thank you, thank you. And people always ask me, what's your favorite thing about London? What's your favorite thing about London? My favorite thing about London is that everybody uses the word dickhead. <laughs> it's amazing. It's oh, he's dick. a dickhead, he's a dickhead, yeah, he's a dickhead. He's a dickhead. Oh, he's a dickhead. No, That's like you too. He's a dickhead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. Prime Minister. Whoa, oh, dickhead. He's a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> the other day I called someone a dick. I said, hey, man, you a dick. They were like, hey, hey. Not the whole organ, just the top part. Dickhead. Dickhead. Good to be here, man. Good to be in London. I flew from South Africa. <laughs> I flew from South Africa and I landed here. I had to quarantine for 11 days. Oh, God. Yeah, at a hotel at the airport. Because I'm from a red listed country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They say South Africa is pretty bad right now. Oh, what's it? But you know what they mean. <laughs> I looked at that list. That's a black list. That's. <laughs> That's a black man, he's right. He said that was a blacklist because uh, you know how you know how uh, supposedly you know how they said uh, the uh, new variant is from South Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they ban all these countries like Nigeria, South Africa. I don't know which other African countries from traveling to um, 
to England and he and he said he checked supposedly it's a it's a blacklist oh gosh because <laughs> it's all from the only black countries yeah exactly exactly <laughs> oh that's, that's, that's a blacklist 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 black people in there <laughs> <laughs> gonna be blacker than that two years so I, I didn't you know like international travel was different like every, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I stepped into the airplane when I stepped into the airplane everything was strange Everything was strange. I walked into the airplane, there was a person who grabbed my ticket with enthusiasm and gave me the most useless directions. <laughs> 34B, that way. <laughs> but that's the only fucking way <laughs> I was gonna go. That's the pilot, that's the rest of us. <laughs> yeah. these, are the, these are the easiest directions in my whole journey. From the door to my seat. I don't need your help. Where were you when I was entering Terminal 5? <laughs> exactly. That's when I need it. I don't need you anymore. <laughs> I always act like I'm lost. I get back. I go, hi. Did you say left at the roundabout? Never <laughs> <laughs> the roundabout. It's crazy. I'm man. only roundabout. I always sit on the emergency seat. I love the emergency seat. Because I'm six foot five. I love the emergency seat. It's like business class for poor people. <laughs> Leg room and responsibility. <laughs> as soon as you sit down, someone pops out of nowhere. So in case of emergency, are you willing and able to help the rest of the passengers <laughs> evacuate the plane? <laughs> I always take this time to look around the plane. <laughs> I go, nah, fuck them. <laughs> I'm the first person out. This is how this whole thing works. <laughs> I'll be outside first. Why would I decline such an offer? It's a great offer. <laughs> oh, I'll be the first to leave. Exactly. Take a left. Take a left. <laughs> the sharks are over there. The sharks are over there. Leave the kids behind. <laughs> <laughs> I find it bizarre that we cannot hear the pilots. Don't you think it's crazy that... Do you understand the technology for us to hear the pilot, I am actually utilizing it right now. <laughs> this is the technology for us to hear the pilot. I don't know why we cannot hear. There's no other context where it's acceptable for us not to hear a person. Why are you muffling? If you were looking for an old pair for your kids and a person came over to your house and said, hey man, what's your experience with kids? And then they looked at you and went, yeah, I don't know why they always talk like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they always talk like that. Wait, comedians are smart. House, so. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what did he say? Yeah, exactly. I don't hear anything. Crazy things, bizarre things. Like, how bizarre would it be right now if someone walked in here and started selling us watches and perfume? <laughs> would that be the most bizarre thing? But it happens all the time in airplanes. No one's ever gone, huh, this is crazy. This is an English uh, polite thing. Oh, if you already got one, man. <laughs> Looking at the man. Oh, that's like significant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there. Every airline should be selling watches, though. Like Ryanair, no business selling watches. You need the watch, Ryanair. Your flight seven hours late. <laughs> yeah. And also, why am I buying a four hundred pound watch on an eleven pound flight? This makes no sense. <laughs> He's looking yeah, at me. Being in London is cool. I like being in London. One of my favorite things to be in London is so much to do. I, I try to buy a ticket online to watch Wimbledon. Yeah, man. The Wimbledon final. I was like, I'm excited. Went online. It was 3,000 pounds. Whoa. Whoa. I was like, what? 3,000 pounds. Jeez. Okay. I'm not saying I wouldn't pay 3,000 pounds. Right? I'm not saying I won't pay three thousand pounds for for a Champions League <laughs> finals ticket, but I'm not paying three thousand pounds for a sport where someone is going to tell me, "Quiet, please." <laughs> Are you out of your 
mind, for 3,000 pounds, there will be no quiet place. Yeah. <laughs> for 3,000 pounds, I'm rubbing my nipples center court. <laughs> Guys, just watch the African soccer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. they got their trumpets, they got their drums. They got the boogus, boogus, they got the 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 I was like, if that uh, is if 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 that is in Europe, they won't they won't even let them bring that in. Yeah. But in Africa, they are like, oh, 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 oh. crazy, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> My brother, three thousand, three thousand. Huh? It's oh, a lot of money. <laughs> to be quiet. My brother, three thousand pounds. <laughs> I should be able to whisper some advice in Roger Federer's ear. I should be able to walk into the court. Uh, sorry, Roger. Come on, four arm. Let's work on that. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> three, my, my brother, three thousand. Three thousand. Exactly. For three thousand, I should be able to punch a ball boy in the face. It's true though, what? We'll be walking across, picking up a ball up. Oh, I'll cut him in the nose. He'll <laughs> be so confused. What was that for? I'm like, no, it's part of the package. <laughs> part of the ticket. <laughs> so look carefully, I can kick you in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> London's great, man. It is great, it's great. Britain's great. <laughs> British people are, you, you guys are so proud of yourselves. We're a gun free society. Mm -hmm. so gun -free. Oh, look at us, we have no guns. This is the craziest thing I'm adjusting to in Britain. Like, I can't listen to policemen without guns. It's the, it's the worst thing. Like, a cop is like, hey, sir, would you stop doing that? I'm like, nah. <laughs> I'm gonna finish peeing. You need to mind your own goddamn business. <laughs> It's too much. It's too much. It's crazy. But, okay, here's a question I pose to you, British people. Are you gun free, though? Are you gun free? Are you? Are you? Are you gun free if you still sell guns? Oh, do they sell guns? You know, you still sell guns. Yeah, I think because they still sell guns. Ah, yeah, the awkward, hunting one. Awkward, fine, fine. <laughs> You're gun free. And also, when you say, I'm, we're so gun free, you have to go, we don't use guns anymore. Still confusion. Okay. Do you think I speak English because I want to? They go with guns, and they go with guns. Do you realize there was some guns involved? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, guns involved, man. I think people were like, yes, you're welcome. No, there's guns involved. <laughs> <laughs> you guys came to Africa. British people came to Africa, and Africa said, all the animals, man. They had lions, rhinos, <laughs> uh, you know, giraffes, oh, everything. And, and English people were like, we'd like to bring one more. We're like, yeah, we're fine, we're fine. And then we're like, then you guys are like, no, we have one more. We're like, no, trust me. Like, <laughs> what is and that you guys pulled out a gun and went, Ch -ch -ch. and then we're like, okay, tell us. <laughs> and then you guys came and you said, we present to you the squirrel. Because <laughs> <laughs> English people came to Africa and brought the squirrel. Have you ever seen the squirrel in Africa? It's the most confused thing you'll ever see. <laughs> Going, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> what is this doing? I don't even know what it is. It is. You guys are squirrels. You think, you think black people want, like to wear three piece suits? Are you crazy? You guys got there and were like, you people look like savages. You need to change the way you're wearing. No, my brother, it's 42 degrees here. Yeah? <laughs> we're fine, okay? We're fine. We're no way, no joke. pulled out a gun and then black people were like, 34 ways. <laughs> <laughs> 36 medium, medium. Yeah. Make it skinny, make it thank you. Make it skinny. 
you guys have been using guns for a very long time, man. 500 years of using guns, it's fine. You're not gun free, your whole existence is loaded in guns, man. You fought wars, you know how many wars you guys fought? With guns! Mm. Fought some wars against the Zulus. <laughs> the Zulus? Yeah, I'm half Zulu. Yeah, my mom is Zulu, my dad is Kosa. Oh, he's you know Kosa too. What the? Black. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> you guys are so uncomfortable. I'm so sensitive when it comes to race. Why was it sensitive in 500 years ago? There was a war, it was, so this war was in the 1700s, it was the Zulus, it was the Zulus, uh, it was the Zulus uh, uh, and the British, and the British had guns and the Zulus had spears, and the, and, the, and the Zulus defeated the British. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. And you're like, how did this even happen? It was because the British had red uniform. <laughs> I don't know if you know anything about red. It is horrendous camouflage. <laughs> The hills, like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> in red, and the Zulus were like, ah, the British are here. <laughs> should we attack now or should we attack later? <laughs> the Zulu king was like, no, finish your breakfast. <laughs> you got your bread. free, man. You're not gun free. It's cool. I, I live here now. I live here. I'm one of you people. My dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> I live here. But I just, I'm trying so hard to get into the culture of Britain, man. Just like the culture of you guys. Crazy. Because you guys have a bank holiday where you lose your mind. Yeah.